So you are thinking about moving to the Las Vegas, Nevada area, and you would like to know maybe the top five things you should do before you actually buy or move to our great city. Well, in this video, we're going to tell you exactly those top five things you want to consider before you make your purchase. Don't just decide to buy a house. Let's actually take some time, think about it. And we're going to tell you those five things you really need to be focused on. As we like to say on our channel, let the show begin because we're getting after it right now. <music> Now, if this is your first time to our channel and you want to make sure you can keep up with information in regards to what's happening here real estate wise, some things that are really cool to do as far as living here in the Las Vegas, Nevada, make sure you subscribe and tap that bell for the notifications and please share the video, especially if we can help bring you value. It's very important. We are really wanting to make sure that we can get these videos out to as many people as we can. As you guys have known, it helps the algorithm, whatever that may be. So please share, please like, please subscribe. With that, let's jump in. My name is Levert Pompey Benefit. Field. I am a real estate team leader here in the Las Vegas, Henderson, North Las Vegas area. I've been doing real estate here for about 16 years and I have a great team of agents that's looking to help people just like yourselves. Now, it doesn't matter if you're looking to move here in nine days or 90 days, we can help you at the, at the beginning of the process, the middle of your process, the end of the process, wherever you may be. But today's video specifically, we are going to tell you those top five things we want to encourage our clients to make sure they're doing and looking at. This video was encouraged by a gentleman that actually reached out from from watching our videos, our YouTube videos, and said that he's going to be moving here to the Las Vegas area or looking, well, not moving. He's hoping to move here to the Las Vegas area with his husband and they're checking out the area and they just want to just see what's going on, what we should do, how you need to prepare and all those kind of great things. And I was like, hmm. Let me go ahead and make a video so I can give this information out to everyone. So one of the first things I suggested to them, top thing to do, number one, make sure you talk to a lender, your wealth advisor, someone that you trust in that regards. Make sure you know what kind of money you can spend. That's the top thing you want to do. Talk to a lender, talk to a banker, talk to your wealth advisor, whomever that may be. If you do not have that person, we can definitely uh, refer over three different people to you. You can talk to those three different people. You can make your decision. We do not make any money off of referrals from us referring people out. We just want to make sure that you understand you're, get, you're going to be gathering a team of advisors, a team of professionals to help you in this transition or help you in this transaction. So again, the first thing, make sure you get a lender, banker, wealth advisor, get that person in your corner, number one. Number two, the second thing I'm going to advise you, and you know this was coming, you want to make sure you're speaking to a real estate agent, a team leader like myself in regards to helping you, like I said, get that team together, bring those people together so that we, your, your lender, your real estate agent, uh, escrow companies here on the east or here on the west coast, we use escrow on the east coast. You guys moves, may use attorneys to do closing tables. We here use escrow or title. So you want to make sure that you're working with a trusted real estate agent, someone who's been in the business like myself and my team, uh, my assistant, Leslie has been in the business for 20 plus years. I have other agents on the team. So you have more than 40, 50 years worth of uh, basically real estate experience to be able to help. So make sure you're talking to a trusted real estate agent. We are going to work with your, we're going to work with your lender, your person that you choose to do in regards to your loan. We're going to make sure you do things like, this is sort of a sub Thing. We want to make sure you're, you're aware of your credit, knowing what's happening, knowing what kind of money you have saved, all those different types of things. We're going to be working with those other advisors to make sure that we put together a plan. When you work with us, when you connect with us as your number two, your number two thing to do, we're going to set up a strategy session. We're going to take you through the process of what it is to purchase the property all the way to the end of closing. So we're going to take you through all of those steps. We'll set up that strategy session with you, your family, whomever it may be that's going to be helping you make decisions about the property or about the purchase of the property. And we're going to put a plan together. Make sure you reach out to us. I would say anywhere from three to four months before you're actually ready to make that move. You don't want to uh, move, reach out to us a week before. Like I said, there are some people who just need to immediately move in nine days. We have helped many of those folks here. But at the same time, if you want to make sure you give yourself some time. This is a big financial move. So number two, reach out to myself, reach out to a trusted real estate agent in that regard and make sure that we're taking you through that strategy session and helping you understand what it's going to take for you to purchase your property. The third thing you are going to want to do, I had to figure out how to put up 
three on this side. Third thing that you're gonna wanna do is to make sure you're saving more than just your down payment. Now, what I mean by this, save more than just your down payment. You wanna be able to save if you're doing an FHA 3.5%, I would think even upwards of 7% when you're doing an FHA, I'll explain that a little bit more. Conventional, you can do anything from like a 3.5, 5%, 10%, 20% on conventional, whatever that may be. VA, of course, you may be able to still do a dollar down, but at the same time, I always encourage my clients to have money to have extra for closing costs and not just your closing costs. We want to make sure that when you move into your property, you understand that it isn't just about the closing costs and it isn't just about the down payment. When you take on a new home, you're going to have additional fees that you are normally not used to dealing with as a renter. You're not going to be taking care of the property. You're not going to be replacing appliances. You're not going to be take, taking care of H, uh, HVACs and all those different types of things. Have more money set aside. Make sure you're budgeting, you're saving money. Now, when you connect with us as a real estate agent, as a real estate team, we can, of course, go in and make sure we negotiate you the best offer, depending on what's happening in the market. I don't know when you're watching this video. You may be in a market where all of a sudden we can go in and negotiate with the seller. We can go in and negotiate with the builder and get you some more money in your pocket. You may be watching this during a time where it's not the best time to necessarily negotiate with sellers. Bottom line is we're going to go in and still work for you to get you the best uh, deal in regards to putting more money in your pocket. With us being able to help you out getting more money in your pocket, hopefully getting those interest rates down, using some of that money. You can talk to your lender about those different types of things um, and, and, and able to get you more money in your pocket. You want to have a reserve, save more money than you think. That way you can buy appliances when you move in. You can take care of any issues that may happen when you first move into the property. You again become the person that has to fix all the things in the home. Do not think Again, you won't need extra money. You will need that extra money. Save more than just the down payment. Budget, 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 budget. Okay, and that's number three. Number four, what I want you to be able to think about in regards to your biggest steps in regards to first purchasing or moving to a city. Get to know the city. Make sure that you're getting to know the city. That's your fourth thing. Know the city that you're potentially moving to. Like I said, this young man that reached out to me, he was on YouTube. He looked at some of our videos. Look at other videos. Do your homework. Do your research. Talk to friends, maybe family that live in that city. Get to know things that are important for you. Ask us as your real estate agent uh, what are certain things or what's happening in certain areas. We can probably refer you over to different sites, different websites, different web pages, whatever that may be, different accounts, so that you can do your due diligence in regards to you and your family being comfortable about moving into your new city. So make sure you take the time to study, do your homework, get to know your city, make sure it's a place that you want to move to. I've had doctors that have moved here. They're, they wanted us to help them out and check out different hospitals and all those different types of things. We've had our, of course, our military that move here. We've helped our military officers uh, and our military is, uh, people that move here because of their being relocated. We help them move out of here because again, we have a, a base here. We have two bases actually. Uh, we have Nellis and we have Creech. So both of those bases are near our areas. So we're helping our military doing a lot of movements. They're doing a lot of homework in regards to them moving. We've helped police officers. We've helped teachers. I used to be a professional dancer. So I have like uh, artists also as great clients and all those types of great things. So we have everything from artists. We have uh, professionals. Uh, we have the doctors. We have the, uh, the teachers. We all those kind of great things. We just have people that want things sort of kind of organized and making sure they understand what are those steps. Get to know the city. And before we jump into that fifth thing, guys, I'm just going to remind you again, please make sure you subscribe below. We would love to have you guys as some people that will be following the channel. Make sure you're uh, giving us a great thumbs up. Again, that helps us with this algorithm, all the kind of great stuff. And please share this information. If you feel as though there is someone else out there that's about to embark on this incredible journey and get out there and start purchasing homes and, and building their wealth or, or, or investing or, or purchasing another investment property, share this information with them. Make sure they have it so that you're not just keeping it to yourself please reach out we would love to be able to be of service so again fifth thing the fifth thing I want you to do is this guys believe it or not this is gonna be called just get real fifth get real get real with yourself what is truthfully happening with your situation 
that means looking at your credit. A lot of people, I think they get a little scared about looking at their credit. They, they may have never looked at their credit before, uh, but looking at your credit, watching what you're watching, I'm, I'm gonna throw a few things under this Get Real section. But number first part of the Get Real is the credit. Look at your credit, make sure you understand exactly where you are. You want to know what your credit is. You don't wanna get yourself so excited that all of a sudden you, you, you know, you, you're ready to try and make this move in two weeks and then you go and talk to a lender for the first time and then your credit score is, is lower than you think. I've had people who believe that their credit scores are in the 800s and uh, plus situations and then all of a sudden because of whatever reason their numbers have dropped down into the mid sevens and that's a shock to them. So please it doesn't matter if you believe that your credit score is phenomenal and a top tier or if you don't even think uh, your score may be at the bottom and you're actually probably higher than you think. Look at your credit. Get real about where you are. Also under that get real I want to encourage everyone right now we know there's so much information out there is information overload make sure that you are not listening to all the crazy headlines all the crazy media that's out there you are connecting with the professional that's in this market that's in the market that you would like to move to that's the boots on the ground as we like to say and get their opinion get their input make sure it's not someone who's necessarily hungry for a deal and wants to just get it one get one done but someone who's willing to sit back educate you help you in a regards to moving you forward and if you need to take two months three months to do that we'll support you while you're doing those different types of things so get real where you are look at your reality of what's happening with your credit look at the reality of what's happening with the amount of money that you have look at the reality of talking to a professional so that you don't overthink it and don't realize you may be in a better situation than you are and do not watch too much media the media is there to sell clickbait all that kind of great stuff Talk to myself, talk to my team, talk to your trusted advisor, your lenders, your real estate agents to make sure you're getting the reality of what's truthfully happening out there in this market. Again, guys, I hope this information has been valuable. If it has been valuable, again, give me that thumbs up and make sure you subscribe below and share this information. And we will see you guys in the next video. Take care.